everybody. Today I'm going to review a very unique and useful tool that I ran across recently that will allow you to clean up old lumber very quickly. You'll save yourself a lot of time removing nails and that means you can spend a lot more time actually working on projects rather than breaking down something like a pallet or even cleaning up old trim or old plywood in your house. Now this is an Airlocker AP700D nailer. It's a pneumatic tool that's going to run off an air compressor. You just hook a line in the bottom and when you pull the trigger, it's going to do all the work for you. You're not going to be stuck using a hammer and a pry bar to remove nails. This is literally going to punch them right out the other side of the wood and it pretty much leaves everything completely clean. When you pull the trigger, a small rod extends out the front and when you release the trigger, it retracts back into the housing. Since the rod is being forced out under high pressure, it easily pushes the nails back through the board in most cases and you won't have to use a hammer or a pry bar. In fact, the only time I've had to go back and physically pry anything out the other side of the board is with very thick material. But for trim, pallets, or even plywood, the force is enough to shoot the nail out the other side. Here's a closer look at the air locker and it comes in at nine inches long, about 10 inches high, and just over two inches wide. And although it does have an all metal construction, it's still very lightweight coming in at just over two pounds with fittings installed. And if we notice, there's a rubberized grip as well as a rubberized ring around the rear of the unit to prevent it from sliding around when you set it down when not in use. Also in the rear of the unit is a directional exhaust. You can rotate this ring left to right. It will spin around 360 degrees and you can easily direct that exhaust away from your work surface or your face as you're using this. Now, unlike reclaiming wood by hand, where bent nails are typically a problem, you can simply slip the nose of the air locker over the nail, bend it straight and pull the trigger and the bent nail is instantly removed. Here's a large piece of plywood with a lot of nails sticking out of it. And with the timer running, let's see how fast we can completely clean this board up. As you can see, in just a matter of a few seconds, we were able to knock the entire board out. And in under a minute, this board is ready to go and be reused. Now I bought this on Amazon for about 50 bucks. And I also, at that time, picked up a replacement driver slash seal mechanism for another $12.50. The way I think about it is it's a cheap insurance policy. And when the day comes that I eventually damage the unit, by either wearing out that seal or possibly bending the rod, I can take a few bolts out of the back, switch out the mechanism, and it's gonna be good to go again. I won't have to track down those parts at a later time. Three modifications that I've done which make it better for me are a small air nailer hook. I picked this up for five bucks at the Home Depot. And rather than always have to lay it down, I can now hang it either off my belt, off my pocket, or even off a piece of equipment nearby, and I don't have to lay this down and trip over it. I also use a 360 degree swivel fitting. By using this in between the tool and the actual air fitting, it allows the hose to articulate very well, and it's not gonna get hung up or make it uncomfortable to use at odd angles. And finally, I use quarter inch high flow air fittings. This is going to allow you to have a greater airflow at a lower pressure, and it means that your regulator can actually be set lower because you're not going to deal with the same pressure drops that you would with standard quarter inch fittings. As far as problems or issues, I've only ran across two that are worth noting with larger nails and thicker lumber such as this 2 by material. Sometimes the nails don't eject fully out the other side and you would still need to go back and pry those out the rest of the way. But the biggest issue I see people having is dealing with the physical size of the hole that's left by the driver when it punches the nail out. And comparing it side by side with a hammer to remove two identical nails, you'll quickly see which one of those leaves a cleaner surface. The hammer only has a hole the size of the nail, where the AP700 left a hole the size of the driver that pops out the end. So if you're going to use the wood for a specific purpose and it needs to be as clean as possible, that is something that you want to keep in mind. Now what I'd like to know is what do you think of this unit? Is it something you could see yourself using on a daily basis and really speeding up your productivity? Or do you really like a hammer and a pry bar to remove nails? Leave a comment below this video and let me and everyone else know what you think. And if you happen to own one of these, or maybe you've used one, how has it worked out for you? Have you had any problems with it? And if so, what are those problems? Because as people are researching this, your comment might really help them out. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.